Did you know that in Canada, school administrators may be legally authorized to search their students' electronic devices, including cell phones, through their code of conduct? That means your high school principal has the right to confiscate your device if they think the necessary factors have been met. You might be thinking, I keep a lot of important personal information on my phone. Aren't people expected to have a reasonable amount of security and privacy in this country? Well, you're right. Sort of. In Canada's Charter of Rights and Freedoms, it states that everyone has the right to be secure against unreasonable search or seizure. But the Charter also allows those rights to be limited within reason. This means a high school principal has even more authority over searching students than a police officer. In this case, the Supreme Court of Canada decided teachers and principals must be able to react quickly to problems at school, to protect their students and provide an orderly atmosphere for learning. In fact, the School Act, a law that sets out the legal powers and responsibilities of teachers, school administrators, and school boards, operates in part by virtue of in loco parentis, meaning people working in school act as parents and guardians. So what does that mean for you? School administrators can confiscate and search your electronic devices if they feel their code of conduct has been violated. And because this hasn't been challenged in court, we really don't know how far state powers extend within our school systems. So what can you do to keep your phone safe at school? Look into your school's code of conduct. And if it's unclear, talk to your school about drafting a technology use policy. But most importantly, keep your phone in a secure and safe place. Educate yourself on privacy rights and what you can do to keep your e-devices safe on the BC Civil Liberties website at bccla.org slash e-devices. <laughs>